Hey everyone, in the previous video, we learned how to link up a team member with a location. So we can display the location data on the team members page. So that works fine. Now, what if we want to go into the locations page and we want to display the team members that are associated with that location? Well, ACF doesn't really have built in double uh, a connection between both of them technically. Technically, team members are displaying the locations, but locations is not smart enough to know that team members are associated with it inbuilt in ACF. So we can still get that, and we just do a quick query to the WordPress database. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So as of now, we have a team member, and inside there, that team member is associated with only Sydney. I'm just gonna do Sydney and Melbourne now and update it. And now if we go to locations and then we go to say Sydney, obviously there's nothing there because I haven't done anything yet. But if we go into our theme and we go to single-location.php, which is the standard single template for locations, and we need to just do a small query to the database, basically looking for any items that match the ID of this custom post type and if it has a locations field. So to do that, we just open up the PHP tags. We'll create a variable called say team underscore members and we will use the function called get posts in WordPress. Now that accepts an array, okay? So in order to make it less complicated, I'm on top of here, I'm gonna create the uh, argument. So we'll just call it ARGS and then obviously inject ARGS into the get post function. Now, ARGS will have a couple of options. The first one will be the post type. And we wanna tell it, we wanna look for anything that has the post type of team because that is the post type name of my team custom post type, obviously. And then we want to tell it, okay, uh, I want to do a query of the metadata of that specific post. And inside there, it's another array. We're looking for the key, and the key is just the is the field of, of uh, advanced custom fields. So it would be locations. And you can look at the key by going to custom fields and then going to your field group, and you'll notice it's called locations. We then want to look for the value, and the value is the ID of the custom post type of that location. So to grab the actual ID of this specific location, we just do get underscore the underscore ID, capital ID. However, we can't just use it like an, like that, like an integer. We need to actually wrap it in inverted commas. So what we can do is we can do single quotes and then a double quote within that, and then do a dot, then get underscore the underscore capital ID, and then the same thing, single quotes and then double quote then the next line we just want to use a function called compare and inside there we want to do like and that is going to make a database query looking for any post type with the with uh, the name team and the data the uh, the, the sub query will look for a key called locations with the id of our custom post type or location custom post type and we're, we're telling it to look for something like that. So that's just a standard MySQL um, query. Okay, so now that we've done that, and I'm just gonna close it off. There we go. So now that we've done that, we've injected the argument into get posts. And what we should be able to do now is we'll just close off the PHP and then open up another one and we'll do print R and we will do team members. So let's see if it does a query and it actually shows us the team members. So I'll also do pre tags around here just to make it look nice. Go and refresh, go to our location, go to Sydney and there you go. Okay. So get the ID assumed, get the ID. All right. So that is, it's saying it's undefined. What have I done wrong? Okay. It's saying it's a constant. We need to make it a function, obviously. Refresh it, there we go. Okay, so we it, it even worked before that, but I think WordPress is just smart like that. Um, so as you can see, the object is there. It's just an array of objects, and right now it just says 
Sean Freitas, which is me. If we go to our location, our Melbourne location and click view, we should see that I'm there as well. So we can obviously manipulate that data. We can do a for each statement. So PHP for each team members as member PHP and for each. And then inside there, we can grab the name of the actual team member. So PHP echo member. And because it's an object, we have to do post title like that. So let's go and refresh now. We should see my name there. If you want to know what you can use, you just need to obviously do PHP. You can do a var dump, but another way is to do open the pre tags, PHP print R, and you want to make it member because you're within the loop. We'll echo that out and we'll refresh it. There you go. So we can use the post title. We can use all of these things in it, but obviously we're just going to use post title and you don't want to use the link here. We want to use a function in WordPress to get the proper link. Okay. So we've got post title. Again, we just have the name of the person, but then we want to link to their profile. So you could do an anchor tag and inside that anchor tag, you could do a PHP echo get underscore permalink, which is just a function that grabs the link to a page. And then you just need to feed in the ID of that actual team member. So it would be member arrow ID capital, and that will automatically grab the link to that particular team member. So let's refresh it. There you go. You click on it and it will take you to that team member. So let's try it. Let's go and create another team member and I'll just call them Bob Smith, publish it. And then I'll link them up with Sydney and Melbourne as well. And we'll update that. Then we'll go to our locations and we'll click on Sydney. And there you go. Both Bob Smith and Sean Freitas are there. So you can click on their actual uh, profiles as well. So that shows you basically how to make a two way relationship between two types of posts. I hope you've learned something and I'll see you in the next video.